Hey, this is Lee Wind of I'm Here, I'm Queer, What the Hell Do I Read? And we're continuing our Gender 101 series with the unbelievable, irrepressible, fantastic... Lucy. <laughs> Wait, it's such a build-up and then you just go, Lucy. So RuPaul, the drag queen with the amazing reality show, and she's so beautiful, and yet it's also a guy, he, she, has this ama Z, ha, I got to use it. Z has this wonderful expression where she says that you're born naked and everything else is drag. So I wanted to ask you, you present visually with elements that are both traditionally male and female, which puts you solidly in the gender variant part of the galaxy of, of gender. And I wanted to ask you, if you woke up tomorrow and you had, had, you had been abducted overnight by aliens and they had you know, completely refigured your exterior body to be very... Um, very traditionally feminine. Mm. Would it change how you felt about yourself inside? I think that on some days that it would authentically express how I feel. I think that as someone who has to fight so hard in terms of presentation in order to get my androgyny respected, that it's often very difficult to take a step back. In, in Well, it feels like taking a step back in the eyes of the world into femininity because then it'll be a I got your moment you know you really just fit mm. into these boxes just as well as I do as everyone else so that that is a challenge um, what if the aliens at the next night changed you into externally uh, uh, what would be considered masculine yeah um, would, would it change how you felt inside I don't think so I think at, at in the same respect there would be some days where that exterior would also feel like an authentic expression of self but in both cases a lot of the time I would just my skin would be crawling you know just wanting to express something different and express something that has the ability to shift and and the ability to be a bit more flexible well I just want to say I'm glad those aliens aren't coming because you're beautiful just as you are and um, and is beautiful okay to use? I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, it's also, it's interesting. We were talking about language and beautiful and handsome yeah. are very gender-specific words yeah. for, for someone being attractive mm -hmm. and appealing. Yeah. And that's interesting. Is there a gender-neutral uh, term for that? So cute tends to be more of a diminutive. Attractive or hot tends to be more sexually Sexualized, charged. yeah. Um, so often my partner and I will just use handsome and beautiful in succession towards each other. Okay. Well, great. Well, I think you're handsome and beautiful. And I thank you so much for sharing all this with us.